Alright guys, in this video I'll show how you can add your own recipe to Scrapbot in Scrap Mechanic Survival. I'll try to make it as short as I can. Alright, so first go to Steam, click right mouse button on the Scrap Mechanic game, look for properties, then local files and browse local files. Now let's close this one so it's not in our way, you can let it open, it doesn't really matter. Now go to a survival, look for crafting recipes folder and here will be craft bot file. I already made a copy but you can also make a copy so if you, if you mess things up you can always revert back to original or you can simply just verify game integrity and will redownload the original file. Now uh, click on the craft bot with the right mouse button, for me it's already assigned but for you it will be phone piece so click on open with. And again, for me, it's already assigned with Notepad, but you can just click choose another app. So let's open it with the Notepad. You can see here's the mystery code <laughs> right now. Now let's go back to GUI folder, look for languages, English, and inventory description. Again, open with and Notepad. This so you know what what ID is for what item because there's like a, this ID and at the bottom at the title. That's like the name of the item. So, and what I will try to add is a tier three metal, so I can so I can make tier three metal with just one spud. So uh, let's go and copy first. Uh, let's go to the craft bot and let's copy this whole section which starts and ends with these brackets, braces. Let's copy with whole comment as well. Right. So now, copy, Control C. Let's go down so we don't mess up with the rest of the file. Add a comment, enter and just paste it. And you can delete the last comment off so it doesn't mess up the file. That's actually really important that you don't leave the comment otherwise the game will just be a messed up. Alright, so now you can see here this item ID. This is the part which you want to make. The quantity is how many of things you want to make. You can, you can make as many as you want but be careful that you don't set like a 9 and 9 or something really high because then there won't be space in the inventory and the item will forever will be stuck in your in your craft but then you won't be able to pick it up. <laughs> don't ask me how I know that. So let's say we want to make 10 tier 3 metal with one spud. So what we will do is go here in the inventory description file and search for spud already search so it should be already right potato right so in the description here of spud so basically it's a potato so copy this id and just paste it this here is list of ingredients list just paste the id over here and let's set that i need only one of them one of the spuds and you can see here's like a list so there's there is items which have many like uh, required items. You can simply drag it over and delete it. So you have only one spot required. Now let's search for metal block three, which is here. Now let's copy this ID like this and go to here and paste the ID over. So quantity, let's make let's make 50, 50 uh, tier 3 metals we'll make with one spud. At the craft time you can just leave it zero because it will still be 3 seconds because if you make your own parts why, why, why make them that they are being crafted long. And that's about it, you save the file, uh, go back in the game and you have this new recipe into your craft but it's usually somewhere at the bottom as we added it at the bottom of the file. And also you can do this thing without like actually leaving the game. You can go to the mine menu and just do your stuff and load the game back. And you'll have these recipes so don't, you don't have to quit the game. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like if you like it. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.